I'm now in Sweden. I'm in Malmo, Sweden. I am here for two nights, but it's really just like one full day because I just got here in the evening. It's about 5.35 ish. I'm leaving around 11 Saturday morning and heading to Stockholm. I know this is only 30 minutes outside of Copenhagen, but I wanted to see a smaller town and I heard the thrifting was good here. I also didn't want to be in Stockholm during midsummer because I heard it. It's not. <sighs> scared me. Oh, let me let her out. Wanna go out? Yeah. Come on. Here you go. <gasps> That's Kiki, the cat here. Yeah, I heard it's not that great to be in Stockholm during midsummer because everyone flocks to the countryside or the coast to their summer houses. So, um, I also think maybe not much is going to be open here, but I feel like it's going to be an interesting experience to be in Sweden during midsummer. Um, my Airbnb host said that there's some festivities in the town center tomorrow, so even though the shops will be closed, I feel like it should have a different and interesting energy. So yeah, hopefully I can join in on the midsummer festivities and, uh, get myself a flower crown. <laughs> not really, but... I'm gonna, I think, head out for dinner and maybe grab a couple things for breakfast for tomorrow. I went to a grocery store and oh my gosh, I heard Swedish grocery stores are fun. <gasps> didn't realize how fun they actually are. And now I'm in the town center and I didn't realize how beautiful it was right here. I got my goodies, goodies, I don't know how to say it, but now I'm living out my pippy dreams with the paper bags and picking out candy. It's funny, everyone feels like they're running around trying to get last minute stuff for the holiday. Hopefully the place I'm going to dinner is open. I'm around the corner. And I also got stuff for breakfast in case nothing's open. But it's okay. Cause still enjoy the vibes. So maybe they'll have something here in the morning tomorrow. What's that? Oh, it's a gelato stand. Oh, that's cute. Okay, this is really cute here. There's a lot of Americans, I feel like, that live here. And also people from different countries. kids walking by. Anyway, I am back from my evening outing. I first stopped in a grocery store and I saw a pick and mix and I had to try that while I'm in Sweden. So I got some Swedish candy from there. Back up, that grocery store I went to was massive. It was in a mall, huge, and there was a Lidl there too. And I got dinner at this place called Spoonery and they have Swedish food. So it's like a little bit more modern too, but it was delicious. Like I got the Swedish meatballs, of course, and they were, yes, so delicious. It's also 9 p.m. right now, 
and the sun is still out so this is like odd hey that's what midsummer is the longest day of the year Anyway, dinner was delicious. Lincoln berries were so good. I walked around the city center and the city center is a lot more beautiful than I thought. Um, there's also another part if once I cross the bridge that has more shops and stuff. So I would like to see that, but I don't know if I will. I enjoyed my evening. There's a lot of people out and about. There's also a lot of people speaking English here, but not necessarily Americans. There are some Americans, but I feel like a lot of people, there's just like a lot of different cultures here that live here for maybe work or something. Tomorrow, we'll see if there's any festivities in the town center. I hope there's a little something. Um, celebrate midsummer. Yeah, I'll see you on midsummer. the next day and it's midsummer's eve first of all mama was kind of like a little bit of a stall in between stockholm and copenhagen because i didn't want to be in stockholm when everything was absolutely dead though i'm a little bit afraid that it's still going to be dead and copenhagen was a little bit too expensive to be at night i mean i'm sure it's really nice when there's things going on but it's pretty dead anyway in honor of being in sweden during Midsummer's Eve. I'm gonna taste some of the Swedish candy I got. Got a bunch of licorice things to try out. We have this pink one. It's salty in it. This one's calling my name first. So we're gonna try this. My little candy bag. Ugh, like that scene in Pippi when they come out with the good looking candy. Pretty pathetic compared to theirs. I'm not a huge gummy candy person. I'd rather have chocolate. Oh, bubble gum. Kind of like pillowy in the middle. Okay, next, aftertaste. Going with the chalk piece. Oh, crunchy. Hmm. Oh, anise. I don't know if you've seen some, but it's anise. I'm gonna go with the swirly one. That doesn't taste like much. Oh wait, there's a licorice. <clears throat> oh, not bad. Honestly, if licorice was like a ice cream flavor maybe i like it but mm. this one's like hollow and salty no sweet oh that was painful i didn't do it thing of pippy where the guys like one kid just like, can't wait into her hand yeah mm -mm. yeah no we have this pretty pink looking one ew it tastes like one of those childhood lip balms. Candy or coke flavored lip balms. I'm gonna save the best for last. This feels hard. Oh, mint. Ooh. All right, we have a winner. That one's my favorite. This one, the anise one. It tastes like one of those things that they give you at Olive Garden. Remember those things? I don't know what the heck this is supposed to be. Oh, it's softer. That's not bad, because the texture is not hard. It tastes the licorice, I really don't mind, actually. I think it's just the texture. Like if it was an ice cream, then it'd be good. And finally, we got a Swedish fish that says Scandi on it. Can you see? I'm gonna bite off the tail. That was the worst one. I need the mint. Oh my god, it's getting worse. Oh, it was horrible. I stuck my teeth. 
I should have done some more red water. Oh my god. Where's the mint one? Now we're better. Well, that was an experience. Wow. I saved the worst one for last, truly. Don't get those. Don't get those. The mint one, the anise one. It's fine. But the other one? That's a, that's a big no. It's not obvious, my friends, they all caught it saying I end up falling for you I'm doing my best to hide these feelings Confessing is the last thing that I want to do I know I can't be crushing on a girl who can't be here for long So I told myself I should just stay away But these lyrics keep coming out I don't think I can stop it now I wonder if they'll get to you one day but I'll sing these words I'll never say Cause that's the only way Hey, I'm back in the Airbnb for my afternoon out As you saw, I went to the park, tried the Swedish candy And then I walked to a cafe to grab a... I got a cardamom brewer it was a really cute cafe. There was so many rooms upstairs. It was crazy. So many different areas to sit. And then I met this girl who was there. She's traveling herself. She's studying in Denmark. And I think we're gonna go head to the beach here this evening, which apparently there should be people there celebrating. And then I went up to a strawberry stand and I was looking at them. I was talking with the girl and she also said that people will be at the beach from what she's heard from selling strawberries. First, she was all like, Oh, these strawberries here are from 7 a.m. They're not good, but here they're fresh. And I was like, oh, I'm traveling. Like, I can't really bring them with me. She's like, I'll give you a few. And she was so cool. So we have some Swedish strawberries here. Here's the front of it. But now I need to let my phone charge and then I'm going to head up the beach. Any way for me to say those words, just wait and see. They'll come for sure to share to look you in your eyes I swear that I'm not lying Cause I knew it's true from the first time we met I'm so in love with Everything you say and all the doodles that you post And every time you sing a song the people crowd a little closer to you I wish we were closer I got back from my afternoon out or my evening out it's like eight o'clock now and i'm exhausted but it's so sunny it looks like it's like four o'clock i met up at the beach with someone i met at the cafe which was nice she's traveling too and um yeah the beach was nice people had picnics and everything it's a bit cloudy but then on the walk home i went through the gardens that i went through earlier and it was sunny and they were playing music it was warm, it's nice there. But now I think I'm gonna have something to eat. But first, I wanna try the Swedish chocolate that I got before. I didn't have it with me before because it was in the sun. I got something with coconut. Mmm. See, now that stuff's good. And this one's a little bare. Bite the head off. It's marshmallow. Coconut one's good. Midsummer's Day. God, Midsummer. 
I'm packing up, getting ready to head over to, or head up rather, to Stockholm now. I have a train at 11 and it's about four and a half hours. Looking forward to a long train ride. I like train rides. Hopefully it's good. So yeah, I think midsummer really. I mean, I knew that it was more of a at home holiday or time of family or friends, but it's just that kind of holiday where you really have to make your own fun. I knew midsummer was coming up and I didn't want to be in Stockholm for it. So it's like I was trying to delay going to Stockholm by coming to Malmo for a couple of nights. I would like to have stayed in Copenhagen, but it's so expensive there per night too. Very expensive. So it's something different and it was nice. I can say I experienced midsummer in Sweden. I mean, not traditional midsummer thing, but I feel like it got the vibe. The flowers, the Swedish goodies, relaxing at the beach, at the park, the vibe, you know, besides the drinking. I guess the video is gonna end here. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and on TikTok to stay up to date with all the travels and everything. And I'll see you next time.